Hi everyone, Violet here. Today we've got a very special surprise, first of all. There is Arthur. Hi baby Arthur. Here's my husband. So this is going live on our two year anniversary. Mm -hmm. Yay. <laughs> so um, my husband on YouTube goes by Lars Steele and he is currently setting up his um, vegan cooking show. So be sure to follow. I've got a link down below for Lars Steele Vegan Kitchen. And um, we'll take a look at his setup here. Today we're going to learn how to make the perfect cup of coffee. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, I'm just going to show you set up like next to our gorgeous cookbook collection here. Um, he's got this downward facing camera and this stream cam here to see his face all hooked up on this arm and this uh, laptop. So we're going to kind of get the behind the scenes look at his stream and anything you want to say? Um, no, other than thanks for tuning in. Um, you know, it's exciting to be a part of the uh, Violet Hummingbird family and um, tune into my channel for cook with me videos, for recipes, and um, just sometimes to hang out. Nice. All right. All right. We'll just hang out and watch you, watch you go. All right. Hi, Mr. Phoebe. Does he look happy? Yeah. Okay. Go. Let's see how he's setting this up. Hmm? I'm looking at your setup here. Oh. <laughs> Mason jar. I got him this. We've got a little filter in there. Look at that pot. Okay, since we're gonna be in the background, I just wanted to show them up close. Okay. Alright, go for it. Alright. Hey, what's up y'all? Lars Steele here, vegan chef, and welcome to my kitchen. As always, this is Arthur. Can you say hi, Arthur? Today, uh, I'm gonna be showing you how to make what I think is the perfect cup of coffee. Um, I'm gonna be using a um, pour over coffee recipe developed by James Hoffman. Um, I'll be linking his video down below. Um, so this recipe is, is pretty much inspired entirely by that. Um, so to start off, I have a Hario V60 dripper. This is an 01 size. Um, it's good for making a single serve. My wife, Violet, doesn't drink coffee at all, so um, usually I'm just making this for myself. Um, I just have a, a 32 ounce size mason jar to pour it into. Um, I like the way it looks. You could use a mug too if you have one that'll hold the amount of liquid you're gonna make. Here I have a scale, um, which is kind of a no-name scale. Um, it measures down to um, 0.01 grams um, in terms of weight, and it also has a timer on it, which is very useful. Uh, to pour my water, I'm using this gooseneck um, coffee kettle. It has a, uh, sorry, a hot water kettle. It has a thermometer on top that reads both Celsius and Fahrenheit. It's very handy. It gives you, the gooseneck, shape of the spout gives you a bit more control over the water, but it's not necessary. And to grind my coffee, I'm using this Hario um, hand mill. Hi, Arthur. <laughs> it, um, as opposed to lots of um, blade coffee grinders, um, a hand mill gives you an even grind, which is really important to make sure you get an even flow of water through your coffee. I pre-ground the beans so you didn't have to sit here and watch me crank away. All right, so let's get started. Um, I'm brewing a light roast coffee. So when you're brewing a light roast coffee, you want to use water that's as hot as possible to extract the most flavors. So I'm just double checking. I think my kettle is boiling, but I want to be sure it's as hot as it can get. Hi, Arthur. Is this fun? Creeping up on 100 degrees Celsius there. So we're good. So now the next step is to rinse your filter. I like to use boiling water for this because I have a ceramic 
dripper. Um, some people use a plastic one, which doesn't need as hot of water, and you could use sink water for that, but I really wouldn't recommend using a plastic dripper because I think that boiling hot water and plastic don't mix. You really don't want to be ingesting weird chemicals and microplastics in your coffee. All right, so now that this is heated up and rinsed, um, I'm going to swirl this around and dump it out. Now it's time to add our coffee grounds. So I'm going to turn on my scale. I'm going to add my brewer here. I'm going to add my grounds carefully. And I'm just going to level them out a little bit. All right, now I'm going to um, zero my scale. to make sure I have an accurate measurement of the water that I'm adding. And I'm gonna make a little well in the middle of the coffee. Okay, so now we're gonna get to the fun part. We're gonna add the water. Yeah, I'm gonna add that. Okay, so we're gonna start the timer and add our water. The first stage of adding the water is called the bloom phase, and you add anywhere to um, uh, twice the amount of coffee grounds you're using to three times. I forgot to mention that I, for this recipe, I'm using 15 grams of coffee grounds to 250 grams of water. So I'm gonna add about 30 to 45, sometimes a little bit more grams of water for the bloom phase of the coffee to make sure I get the grounds totally soaked and evenly heated. So are we hot enough still? Yep, let's go. All right, so I'm gonna evenly saturate the grounds, keeping an eye on my timer. All right, so that's about 45. Now we're going to swirl the grounds around to make sure that everything is evenly mixed. With this coffee, I find that for whatever reason, it kind of sticks to the sides, so I'm gonna use just a little bit of a spoon here to get that off and swirl it a little bit more. All right, now we wait from anywhere to 30 to 45 seconds. Um, it's important to wait at least 30 seconds, but it's kind of up to you, depending on the water flow, how long you want to wait past that. So we're at 36, 37, 38. I'm going to call that good. Now we're going to make kind of a hard initial pour to agitate the grounds. And then we're going to slow it down a bit. Now we're going to add 120-ish grams of water um, to give us a total of 150. My goal is to reach 150 grams of water by the time the timer reaches 115 seconds. Okay, I'm gonna make it. I need to slow it down a little bit. Oh, almost. So now in this stage, I'm just gonna slowly add the water to keep the brewer as hot as possible for about 30 more seconds, reaching 250 grams of water. I know, Arthur, it's so exciting. Doing pretty well, doing pretty well. I can actually speed it up a little bit, probably. All right, we're doing well. And 250. So now quickly, I'm gonna grab my spoon, and I'm gonna give two stirs in each direction. One clockwise and one counterclockwise to kind of free any debris from the sides of the brewer. And then we wait for just a little bit until the water gets to about this level, and we do a gentle swirl to flatten the grounds at the bed of the brewer so that um, we get an even extraction of all the coffee. So that's pretty much it. Now we just sit here and enjoy, and we wait for the water to finish. And we patiently wait for our morning cup of coffee. Arthur's too young for coffee. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna grab a mug or something. I mean, another small jar. As we're finishing up here. Now, I used five clicks on this grind. I think I maybe should have used about six. Typically you want a two, about a two and a half minute drawdown on your coffee. For this one I got about three minutes, but I think it'll be okay. So that's it. Um, 
take off our brewer. I like to give the coffee a little bit of a swirl in your carafe so you kind of mix up the, the different layers that I've drawn down. Usually the strongest is at the bottom. So you mix it up and then you transfer it to your drinking vessel of choice. It's pretty good. It's not too cloudy. It's probably kind of hard to tell in this light, but it's not too cloudy, which means I didn't get the grind too fine. It's not super syrupy or anything. Um, it's not too bitter, and um, I like it. So I hope you like this recipe. Um, I'll include a link to James Hoffman's video, which goes way more in depth about all the science and chemistry behind this operation. Um, but I found that this is, what, in my opinion, the best way to make pour off over coffee. So thanks for joining me on this live stream, and I hope you tune in again. Stay vegan. Good job. Thank you. How'd it feel? It felt pretty good. Arthur was very excited. I'm not sure um, <laughs> how uh, audible my instructions will be, but I bet it was cute. Oh, yeah. He's a bonus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, wonderful job. And... Um, yeah, for everyone here, let us know in the comments below how you like to make a cup of coffee and um, definitely subscribe to Lars Steel Vegan Kitchen. Oh my, oh my, it's bedtime. Oh, we're making this coffee for tomorrow, I suppose, because yeah. it's actually evening time, but yeah. uh, this is when we're able to do it. So, all right, we'll see you next time. Please be sure to like and subscribe. Goodbye. Bye.